Hello everybody, my name is Super Scroll, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Nuzlocke Randomizer Silverness. When we last left off, uh, we just took on the gym and beat them, I'm pretty sure at least. And... I think we got cut and stuff like that, I can't really remember unfortunately. And I apologize in advance if this episode seems a little bit, uh... I don't know if I, if, I'm, if my commentating is a little bit loopy and I say weird things because... I have had I have had no sugar today whatsoever, and um, I need sugar to survive. It's the only thing I really need to survive is sugar, and I have absolutely none. No pop, no candy, nothing. I usually have a chocolate bar for lunch with a can of Coke or something like that. So, as you can imagine, I'm 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 pretty insane right now. So, this is, so what I'm doing right now is actually just first thing I did when I got home is I am having a can of ginger ale. To keep myself rather sane. Anyway, when you do that, if you come out of the forest, the Alex Forest, as we were in before, and come over here, talk to this dude, he'll be like, You chased off Team Rocket and went to Alex Forest alone. It takes guts. I like that. Come train with us. And this dude will say, I'm sorry, I, I, I forgot to thank you. This is charcoal that I made. Fire type Pokemon would be happy to hold that. And you get a free charcoal. So you could get it this way, or you could pay the 9,800 Poké Dollars to get it. Either way, this way is a lot better, clearly, because you get it for free. Anyway, so off to the Alex Forest we go. Let's make sure my Pokémon are healed up. They are. Okay, good. I'm actually, uh, my level of my Pokémon are actually, uh, good enough for the next gym. So that's good. So I taught that to Sylvanas. I think they got learned cut. Yep. Yeah, there's still lots of water Pokemon in here. I don't understand why this do has a certain place. I know it's randomized, but why do they have, why do they have to randomize wild uh, water Pokemon here? I don't know. So you guys can go up here, and this is obviously fishable areas. Up here, you come here, there's a full heal hidden on the ground there. I don't think there's anything here. No, there's not. That dude up there, we will teach you. Will We will teach you. No. That dude up there, he won't teach you anything, but... Oh, my God. Ooh, Needle Queen. Okay, so, well, I can't catch it. I'm just saying, at least it's not a water Pokemon. Oh, my God. What is with all the wild Pokemon? Up here is a super potion. Very useful. And the real way you have to go is up. Oh my god, I'm putting up a repel. I don't care. That's gotten annoying. Uh, where is it? Repel. Good. So, up there is the real way you have to go. If you guys come around here, though. see this dude here again right here so you saw from down there talk to him and he will give you HMO not HMO2 TMO2 which contains headbutts in the remake if you talk to this guy he will teach one of your Pokemon a headbutt but then he if you come back and talk to him again he'll keep doing that to everyone he'll teach all your Pokemon headbutt an infinite amount of times I'm pretty sure but anyway that's a good move because it's a uh, it's very good base power I think it's like 70 100 accuracy, and it could also cause them to flinch, so it's a good move to have. I think I'm going to give that to Mercury, because it's a normal type, so it gains stab. What did I just get rid of? I always do that. I got rid of Rage, that's fine with me. Headbutt's a much better move anyway. So now that I have Headbutt, I can actually Headbutt these trees and find Pokemon in them. But because I um have already caught a Pokemon in here, that... Headbutting a tree and catching a Pokemon like that is gonna, for me is con is going to be considered uh, catching a Pokemon through walking, so that's not going to count for me. But what I am going to do is Repel's effect wore off. No, that's not what I'm going to do. But um, I'm going to go back to Azalea Town because we didn't actually ca catch a Pokemon there by walking in grass or anything like that. So headbutting would actually be considered catching a Pokemon in this area, which is completely allowed. So if you go behind here, behind Kurt's house, there's actually these little trees that you can headbutt.
And holy crap, it's a cloister. That's good, because uh, we've used one of these before, but we know they're very good, basically. Hopefully Tackle doesn't kill it. Good, good, doesn't. I'm also eating something, if you couldn't tell. Another sugary snack. So this is a, a bit, I just want to, I only want to tackle it because I don't want to kill it, clearly. If you guys can remember from my Let's Play Fire Red, uh, um, these are very defensive. Crap. I go for one more tackle. Oh crap, Aurora Beam. That could kill me. Uh, but no, that's not going to kill me. That's going to do a lot of major damage, though. Oh, it's not very. It's not super effective, I guess. Because I'm um, steel, I guess. Stop hitting yourself, damn it. What the fuck? Oh my god. It's going to last forever. I hit the withdraw. Um. Animation is like you just put like a little metal cap on it all of a sudden. It's really stupid. What the hell? Stop doing that. Finally, Jesus Christ. There you go. Of course you go for a supersonic. For a Pokeball, clearly. Oh, yes. I wonder what I'm gonna name it though, because I already have um, Poseidon designated to my uh, shark right now. So it's the Bivalve Pokemon. I have to go look up a name for it, I guess. Guys, I'll be right back with a name. Alright, guys, I have got a name. A, a goddess's name, actually. There's like this group, or, or at least uh, a group, a pair of goddesses called the Kamini or Kamini or whatever. And they they had various attributes like fresh water, prophecy, and childbirth. And one of the um, one of the goddesses that were in the Kamini was a goddess name because Cloister is a female. Car. Men. Carmenta. So that's what I'm gonna name it. And of course, Youngster Joey has called, not yet this episode, so here he comes. Look, your chat is looking awesome. Okay, you go have sex with your Rattata and don't call me for a while. Uh-huh, finally, Jesus Christ. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't mind if he just got hit by a Dragonite one day. So I'm going to put my Cam Carmenta into the PC. Why do you always have to save? Whoops. Goodbye. So finally we can get out of here. I'm gonna go meet you back where we were into the Ilex Forest because it's kind of annoying to walk through there. See you guys in a second. Alright guys, we are back here to this little gap that I showed you before. And over here you can find an ether. Her. Damn you! Oh, a mask. Oh, I, I, again, I can't have a mag cargo. Over here, nothing. No hidden item. Which Rahimi? Holy crap! I'm looking for a pseudo legendary in this, but I don't know if there if there is any pseudo legendaries in this generation. There is in the previous generation. I'll look into that. So now we're on a new area here. Oh, this is trainer tips. This is not a sign telling me what area this is. But this is a new area, so I'm going to look for a Pokemon. These are all trainers here, so I'm going to try to avoid them, because I don't really need to battle them, because I have enough levels. Okay, what's this? Normally you can find things like Drowsies and stuff like in here. And this is a Weezing. That's actually pretty useful. Okay, it's very... Weezings are very defensive. 
I'm gonna go for a month slab and hope it doesn't kill it. Oh, that was perfect. And another crit. Okay, good. Perfect. Ooh, poison gas doesn't affect me. I'm steel biatch. Okay, throw my balls at it. Damn it. Holy crap! Damn it! Didn't do very much, clearly, but... Why the hell did you have to do that? I wanted you. I wanted you so bad. See this dude up here, he's a security guard. If you talk to him during the day, which is right now, he will not do any... He won't battle you, but in the nighttime, he will battle you. Here is a daycare, in case you want someone to raise your Pokemon for you. Uh, I don't really want them to raise a Pokemon for me, but there's an area here where you can fish to get a Pokemon. So, I think you can get a Pokemon there at least. That's, that's also a good area. Plotting out the areas where you can get... Crap, he saw me. Let's see what he has. He's a picnic... Oh, camper. Sorry, not picking the car. Psyduck. So I'm gonna go for a rock throw on him. Scratch, what's that gonna do to me? Go for another one, I guess. Hopefully I don't miss. Yay. I love a lot of the animation, the move animations in this generation. Such as Rock Throw. Rock Throw has a way cool uh, animation in this than uh, in, in newer versions. If you go uh, more north, you enter a city known as Goldenrod City. This is the city where the infamous gym leader lies, the one notorious for destroying any dreams of someone completing a Nuzlocke challenge of this game. And this is also the city where I can change names of Pokemon, so I'll be doing that for Shark, obviously. And this, yeah. So up here is this is the depart this is the Pokemon Woods well, actually a department store. Yeah, it's the Goldenrod City Department. I'm not gonna go in there yet, even though there is some really good items you can get in there. Um Your Playground, a Goldenrod City Game Corner. This is a game corner, but as in all games you can't go there until you have a uh what's it called? A coin pa a coin case. Here is the Goldenrod Radio Tower. We'll go in there and there's actually a graduating person here. Just kidding, it's the member of Team Rocket. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest scram? So there's things here. If you talk to this dude, he will... Hi, are you here for the Lucky Number Show? Want me to check? Yeah, so basically if there's a... I, if the number of 90 Pokemon reaches one that you have, or uh, that you've seen, I think, or in your PC or whatever, uh, then you win a prize. But it rarely happens unless you cut a lot. Nope, never of your ID minute. Yeah, so. He checks the Pokemon that you have. Anyway, you gotta talk to this girl here. We have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide it into your Pokegear to play the radio anytime, anywhere. So you probably want to get this. If it, I don't know if it's 100% important, but. Or 100% necessary, but it's definitely uh, needed. Which is the exact same thing. <laughs> anyway, can the town map be displayed on Poke Gear? Yes. Correct. Question two: Can Nidorina be only female? Can be can can Nidorina be female only? Yes. Bullseye. Question three: Does Kurt the Pokeball Craftsman use Apricorn? No, it's not spelled like that. It's spelled different to me. So far, so good. Question four. Magikarp won't learn any TM move. Yes. Wow, right again. Here's the final question. Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk is a very popular program. Is Mary the co-host of this show? I'm not entirely sure who the co-host is, but I'm pretty sure it's not Mary. Maybe it's Mary, but it's, it's spelled with the Y instead of the IE. So I'm going to go with no. Bingo! You got it! Congratulations! Here's your prize, a radio card! Don't be, uh, sad or anything if you don't make the, uh, don't get the radio card in the first try, because you can come back, or just don't even come back, just stay there and do it again over and over, until you get it right. So here is the Goldenrod City Station. That's clearly, like, a trainway, as you can see, there's train tracks here, 
whatever it is. Over here is something rather important, actually. If you come down here, and what is here? I don't even remember. Oh, this is some random person's house. Not important. Not important, guys. Here is, this is actually quite hidden. But yeah, the world is a cycle path bike shop. So you get actually a bike here. And basically, um, ah, I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why don't you move somewhere in the line of sight where people don't have to walk around buildings to find you? Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Sure. Really? Great. Give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. Yeah, so he's going to trade my name and a phone number for a bike. He must really want sex. Never mind. Um, yeah, so we'll ride a bicycle now, so at least we can have a method of faster transportation. So I'm going to go to the pack. And, um... Hold on, guys. Be right back for a second. I have to check something. Okay, sorry about that, but I was just, Yeah, so I came to the key items, and I'm going to, uh... Put bicycle. It, you, it looks like here it says sell, but it actually just means you're registering it as select. Even though it looks like sell. So anyway, now I want a bike, and the music changed. Yay! We. I'm a little kid on a bike. We. Okay, I'm done. Now if you come up here above the or north of the train tracks, you see the gym here. Goldenrod Pokemon Gym, Whitney, the incredible pretty the incredibly pretty girl. Wow. That's so wow. Anyway, so these people here will be like, I don't really care about you. And then you go up here, this is a more important place. Talk to this lady, and she'll be like, La 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 Have plenty of water, my lovely. So she's just watering her plants. You have to come back there a little bit later, and uh, she'll have something important for you. Go over here and name writer. Get your Pokemon nicknames rated. So this is where we're gonna change the name. Hello, hello. I'm the name writer. I rate the, po the names of Pokemon. Would you like me to rate names? Yes, you can rate my name. I mean, rate the names. We go to Shark because Shark is a stupid name. That's a fairly decent name. No, you're not. You're a crappy name writer. You're better at raping names. Anyway. Let's change it. Uh, I really don't want to get the spelling wrong for this, because if I do, the gods might be angry at me. Um, is it I-E or E-I? I'm going to check in the... I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, checked. It's, uh, it's E-I. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's E-I. So it's... So it's P... Psy... Don... Me. What? No. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's a better name. Okay, good job. We finally changed the name. Had a freaking Luya. What's over here? Underground entrance. Okay, that'll, that'll, I'll take you there in a second. Not in a second. Next episode, actually. See you guys next time. We got to Goldenrod City and we got a new Pokemon and we named it Carmenta. Yeah, Carmenta. So, see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and give me lots of love so I can make more videos for you guys. Bye! I'm being crazy because I have no sugar must digest the ginger ale before I get any sense of sanity back. Bye. Bye bye bye. Bye 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 bye.